Well, hello there. Yes, it is that time again. It is time for our weekly tarot slash astrology blog here on Sunday, the 25th of November. And I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving day. I know I certainly did. A lot of food, a lot of fun with family. Very, very good time indeed. So now it's time to settle down, go ahead and look at some Tarot de Marseille, and then some astrology. Not an awful lot this week, but we always do take a look. So do stay tuned, though. Interesting ride. That's right. The Tarot de Marseille is going to come on the screen in a moment and cover my face. The three cards for this week are the Moon, the King of Cups, and the Lovers. Now we look at the moon, and here we have that lunar figure at the top of the card, looking down towards the left. Below it are two dogs, or jackals, that are barking away at each other, more or less. And a crayfish coming up from the depths of the pond. No humanity here. A lot of raw energy. A lot of noise. And this is something we can tend to experience during a Mercury retrograde, which we're in right now until December 6th. And, of course, you add in the mix of the holiday energy, okay, which can get pretty chaotic. Yeah, it kind of fits. The King of Cups, he handles this by acknowledging it. He has his cup towards the moon, but he is looking in the other direction. He is sitting passively not really doing anything other than holding up his cup. And he looks towards the Cupid in the Lovers. Now, of course, we could say he's looking at the scene, but really, I think he's looking at the Cupid for inspiration. Because if you look below the Cupid, you have a man who's being assailed by two women, and he looks rather confused. Now, that's also fitting in with holiday energy. This could be a very confusing time as we get pulled in all sorts of different directions. So, in order to avoid that, we need to be like the King of Cups and keep our eyes on our source of inspiration, our inward knowledge, our inward connection with the Divine, okay, our angelic contacts, these are things that we need to stay in touch with because it's going to keep us on track, keep us sane, and hopefully help us in having a happy and safe holiday season. Okay, now as far as astrology goes, it's really not much. Uh, honestly, uh, we're past the point of the full moon. That happened a couple of days ago on Friday. Uh, so we're in a waning phase of the moon, a time to get rid of things, banishing conditions, situations, people, <laughs> whatever is standing in the way of our goals, of our happiness, of our freedom, of our health. This is a time to get rid of it. Now, there's no really good aspects on proper planetary days for this week. All right, uh, The strongest day I saw was Tuesday. There's a whole lot of beneficial, benevolent aspects between the moon and different planets. Uh, nothing that particularly stands out that I'd say dual working at that time. But if nothing else, we can look at a day to see how many good aspects we have, favorable aspects versus negative aspects like squares and oppositions. Okay, you know we don't want to work on days with a lot of those. On Tuesday, we're going to have a few trines, okay, which is a very benevolent aspect between the moon and different planets. We're going to have Mercury and Jupiter going conjunct that evening. Again, nothing particularly striking that I want to work with that particular aspect at that time. But overall, the day has a fair amount of positive astrological energy. So we can take advantage of that for any kind of banishing work that you want to do. Tuesday is Mars Day. That's also a strong day for banishing. Mars is in charge of banishing. Get rid of things, destructive energy. And if we need to do that, that's a day to do it. Okay, well, I really appreciate you watching this tarot blog. 
Tarot Slash Astrology Blog, as we should call it. I really do. And I hope you have an enjoyable holiday season. We will be in touch with you throughout the holidays, doing our blog and sending out the newsletter and being on Facebook. And until I see you next week, many, many blessings.